Hey guys, welcome. We just got back. Don't look at me like that. My I'm younger you. self. <laughs> I am you. <laughs> you are me. Ah. <laughs> Wait, what's up, guys? We just got back from Gemini Man, the uh, Ang Lee Will Smith vehicle film where uh, you get that rush of nostalgia of how Will Smith looked in the 90s. Fresh, Fresh Prince, Prince of Bel Air. It's all fresh in our minds. And uh, it's a, essentially a, sort of a spy film uh, where a, a younger Will Smith is sent to kill an older Will Smith because he's the best. Or is he the best? Because he's the best. They're both the best. And they fight. So that's sort of the premise of this that film. Basically it. Yeah. And uh, is it worth going out to see? Um, unfortunately, I think it's safe to skip this one. Uh, you know, you do get some good action chase scenes, uh, some gunfights, uh, but, but not I, enough to warrant. Uh, no. Yeah, a well, when the <laughs> when the film has such bad dialogue, uninteresting story, sort of nonsensical story, uh, it's difficult to like you know get through the moments in between the action. And there's not a whole lot of action. Uh, there are some moments they really try doing a lot of character development between uh, the two Will Smiths. But you're just so distracted by the CGI effect. Yeah, it's not yeah, good. Yeah, that was uh, bad. So, so this is what I brought us all chuckle. into the film. I think mo this is how the film is selling itself. And at moments, it looks good. And then moments, it does not look good. Surprisingly, one moment in the daylight where they're doing this training element uh, for the younger uh, Will Smith at this sort of complex that simulates terrorist-type uh, situations, I I was like, wow, I was really impressed with the way he talks. His lips looked fine and everything. But some scenes at night where it's supposed to be easier to convey that it looked worse. Uh, you could really tell with his teeth and with his lips moving. Uh, there's this really uncanny valley stuff, and you really just can't take your eyes <laughs> off his individual See, follicles and skins and lip, and it's distracting. It looks it looks bad. It because I, I was expecting the same process they did with Samuel Jackson in Captain Marvel, which looked amazing, right? Because he looked really really good in that. But it's a different type of technology. What they did with Samuel Jackson is the de aging software where they do some of the dots on the face this there was a stand-in for junior will smith and then they did a mocap thing with him and they just kind of laid him over and so like you said some of the scenes are fine but some are terrible and there are scenes where i mean we're in a big theater with like a really good uh, speaker system where the voice is coming from the wrong area like the, the actors are speaking when Clive Owen's talking, it's it, you feel like Clive Owen is speaking, mm -hmm. and then when Will Smith's character starts speaking, it's coming from like the back corner. It doesn't make any sense. It's they did a they did. There were some scenes where at night it did look okay, but there's like this ten minute sequence at the very end that is like video game cutscene terrible. Yeah, like yeah. I wanted to give it some praise because that scene, I was like, man, that look. Oh no no! Go back to the other. Yeah. Scene. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, no, wait a no, minute! This is bad. What is ah. this? That is not Will Smith at all. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, towards the end, definitely. We we will save some of that stuff for spoilers. Yeah. Um, but so you're going into this uh, film for Will Smith's charisma. That's there. It's yep. actually surprisingly well acted. Uh, the beginning of this film, I think me and Alex agree, was um, surprisingly good. I'm like, wait, is this film actually going to surprise us? Uh, why, why, why was the beginning of the film working? They set it up. I think Will, Will Smith's a charming guy. He re like they set up the story. It's really interesting. There's there's stuff's kind of coming together. And they had me for maybe 20 minutes. Like, there's side characters coming yeah. in. Mar Mary Elizabeth uh, uh, Winstead, yeah. Winston is in this film. She does a great job. She, mm -hmm. you know, Will Smith. You could kind of buy Will Smith's flirtation with her. You could buy Will Smith's flirtation right. with anybody, including Very himself. <laughs> yeah. Very charming guy. So you're like, okay, that's cool. I can kind of buy it. It's all this little little interesting storyline there. Um, but, you know, when, when the uh, – and when the first assassin comes in – 
when he first meets himself, and that you got a great chase sequence that that kept the CGI to a minimum. But as you go along in the film and they encounter That's each so other bad. multiple times, the CGI yes. just goes to insane levels. That's exactly levels. how I felt because, like I said, with the fit, with the, his face, it's like mm. I was going to give you some <laughs> praise. No, you messed it up. Same with the car scene. Yeah. And you the remember, scene. Joe? I was going to praise you, but then you fucked it up again. <laughs> like, what are you, you doing? remember uh, what's that film in Blade? You remember Blade where, you know, the light scene and you've got these ninjas and the way the yes, ninjas are moving at, around and the CGI terrible. looks so terrible. There are moments in this film that mimic that style of of weird, wacky body movement because they wanted to show how the Gemini man is so good at combat and maneuvers, but he turns into Gumby. He turns yeah. into like... You know, at several times, and 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 so that's why I say that the you know chase sequences are good, and some of the gunfights, but the action sequences, while they have good choreography, are ruined by this really uh, unnatural movement speed and look. And you're like, maybe I'd buy it if it was a vampire ninja, <laughs> but but no, this is I'd supposed see to see that movie, <laughs> uh, Will Smith Vampire Ninja. Yes. It's done you know vampires before, anyways, uh, sort of. I am legend, but anyway. Anyways, um, so unfortunately, the CGI kind of takes you out of it, and the story, that's well, where Well, you know things... it was written by, right? No. David Benioff um, from Game of Thrones. So <laughs> you nothing is more of powerful a than a good story, <laughs> the right? The Game of Thrones there writer, there you go. And <laughs> that might have made know. sense where this thing jumps all over the place. There's no real setup for some of the things that they're doing. It's just one thing to the next thing, kind of how he rushed the last season of Game of Thrones. One minute they're in this other country, and then they're in another country, and they go back and forth for contrived reasons. I just want to talk to him. And then we go on a plane, and then and then the next thing we go on another plane. And then it's like we're lucky that this side character comes in, yeah. one of his buddies, who you said you like. I love Yeah, he's Wong from, uh, from Doctor Strange. Doctor yeah, Strange. and he was like, you know... Uh, I got this buddy who's the best pilot. I'm like, okay. But, like, most of the film is them on planes going from yeah. uh, location to location. So um, it's a damn shame because uh, Will Smith is charismatic as always. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's really – you could see he really, you know, tries to put in um, – a performance that's that's deeper than just your average action flick when it comes to encountering himself when it comes to sort of the subplots of what it's like to be older and then encountering a younger version of yourself what would you do what would you do and say especially if that person's trying to kill you would you kill them back would you try to save them that stuff is fascinating and that stuff works but the rest of the film around that is like Worse than your yeah, lower. You, you just made it, it sound so much better than it actually was. Right, because like, I, I can see what Will Smith was going yeah, for. Yeah, I can see. That. Like, it makes sense. Like on paper, there's parts about this movie. Like, yeah, that's really interesting. But the problem yeah. is, the there's execution. so many things that are so mm -hmm. bad. They are having a conversation in one continent. They fly to another continent, and they're still. He's finishing like sentences. There's like these weird <laughs> breaks where it's like you guys were on an airplane for eight hours, and you're still talking about no, no, stop that. Like this is bad writing. You just yeah, this, this is bad writing. Sense. He's like you know, he's I'm not, I'm not you. <laughs> there's yeah, he's moments swim, he's swimming away. <laughs> I'm not I'm you, you. Oh, man. <laughs> there's like you know the uh, funny dialogue is what I'm trying to get across. What was it supposed to be? Just yeah. kind of rings hollow, and yeah. it, and it makes you you know tilt your head a little bit. Um, and there, there's some believability issues as well, having nothing to do with the Gemini man. Um, Mary Elizabeth in this film kicks ass, mm -hmm. really kicks to the point where I'm like, why the fuck do they even need to clone people? She's like, they broke my immersion that she's this good of a fighter, you know, and that she's almost as good, if not better, than Will Smith at times. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, why, why, why do we even need this program? Uh, <laughs> and I'm not really <laughs> sure, you know. They try to fill out her backstory about, you know, where, where, you know, where she's been and stuff, but it just doesn't. It falls flat. It falls flat, mm -hmm. and you're like, what the hell? They were like, we want it, – it felt more like we do not want to make her look like a damsel in distress, mm -hmm. so this is what we're going to do. And they took that knob, and they just kept turning it, and nobody told them, hey, maybe we should, you know – 
not turn it that high because it doesn't really fit with her training and, and her character and her backstory. But no, that shit is super high. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I found that a little bit uh, uh, unbelievable. Um, yeah, that's that's the Gemini man. In short, you go there for Will Smith. That's it. Uh, and he does his job. But the stuff around Will Smith doesn't really hold up. And I hear this project has been around. I, I don't know. I had this weird deja vu feeling like, you know, when I saw the trailers, I was like, is this a remake? Uh, and, you know, I feel like I've seen this concept before, but it's not a remake. There, there was a Gemini Man, I think, television show, but it didn't have to do with, like, young guy attacking the old guy. And, and I think it was just that I'm a fan of movies, and I knew this thing was kind of in development hell for a long time. Yeah. And I think I've heard about it through mm -hmm. the grapevine in that way. There were so many different actors, famous actors, of, you know, attached to this project over the years, including Sean Connery, I, even Harrison Ford. We're talking a long time ago. Wow. And it's just been kicked around and rewritten and re -gone, And the technology is finally at the point, I think, where they could execute it realistically. And this Alex is, is shaking his head. No, nope. I, I, I also say that it it is like bare minimum like right now is like the precipice of just starting for it to work yeah. right maybe in 10 years you could do it but you wouldn't have will smith you'd have to get somebody yeah. else but i uh, but they went for it anyway and the whole time you're distracted just staring at the at the cgi there effect. are times where i was in the theater i had like i was getting ready it's just like all right show me it's like this is so <laughs> weird it is so weird this doesn't look right 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 yeah. is is it joe an action flick where you where you're supposed to turn your brain off alex Not joe even, like i, yeah, turn like he my, goes I to knew. you for the turn your brain off <laughs> cuz of my crappy movies yeah. uh even with my brain turned off i still did not have uh fun with this movie mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's like one of those generic run-of-the-mill it's like oh it's my last day i'm gonna retire nope <laughs> yeah. you're not getting too old for this shit they, oh, that's it's a good like, point Joe. everything was just like you know what's gonna happen you're like yeah. just moving forward the best part is obviously will smith he's very charismatic but the villains and everything you're just like all right little this uh tropey very very not a little, not a little not tropey. A little. Very. very extremely like, and like every i said um the CGI just ruined the fights for me. Yeah. just threw me off. I don't know if why they needed better, to do the blade. Yeah, that just looks terrible. So did uh, some of the bike scenes. Mm -hmm. That looked bad. No, I, I thought the bike scenes were, were well done. I, when when I they're using motorcycles it. for the sake of using motorcycles, yeah, I thought that was cool. It's like an interesting. Yeah, I know. It's like get off the bike and punch him. <laughs> well, no, no, but no, he's using the bike <laughs> yes. as a, as a weapon. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of cool, Joe. Now, now you're just being grouchy. <laughs> no, okay, but yeah. that's my opinion. All right, all right. I didn't really. Enjoy all right, it, so. let's go to final verdicts here. Let's wrap. Let's make this one quick. Okay. Alex, yes. what are you thinking? Uh, originally, I thought this movie was going to be what was it started out pretty good, right? Yeah. And then my expectation it just kept going lower and. My score kept getting lower, and then because at the beginning, I think they felt they did different amounts of work on the mocap because they did not do the de aging thing, which I really wanted them to do. And so there are scenes where I don't know if those were the ones that they showed every showed off to everyone, like they really put in a lot of work. Like you were talking about in the training center scene, yeah, that looked really good. The problem is I was so distracted the rest of the time by the mm -hmm. other scenes that it just pulls you out of the movie because you have this. It's not even an actor. It's a stand-in with this weird mocap face over it that's trying to be Will Smith, and it just pulls you right out of the movie. And the story isn't that engaging anyway. No. And so I was like, man, this is a generic, mediocre action movie, but there's so many other distractions that I think that this is slightly below average. I'm going to give this a four. Yeah, and that's where they spent all the money, I guess. On oh yeah, 130 million dollars to make yeah. to make ridiculous. this one. Ridiculous. Wow. Probably 30 of that is for Will Smith or well, something he, like he, that. Well, he he plays two characters, so 60 of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I need a little more money, guys. Yeah. I gotta play two characters. No, yeah, Jump. I'm gonna agree. Uh, four is about right for me. Uh, in the beginning, I felt like this was just an average flick, and then once I started seeing all the 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 plot. The story that was supposed to mm. be a story, all the terrible CGI just fell down for me. Yeah. I was very disengaged. Okay. Uh, and and so I'm with you guys. I think maybe just – I love Will Smith so much. Oh, no, yeah. I he think that makes me part. a little biased towards giving it one point more than y'all. I'm going to go with a 5 out of 10. <laughs> 
you know, I think this is one of those films where you're supposed to turn your brain off and, you I know, did. not think about the story. But I agree with you guys. I did, and it still didn't have the moments in it to satisfy me. Yeah, there's a there's a good chase sequence that you see in the trailer with the motorcycle and the sniping. Yes. And then there's a gunfight at the end, sort of, where it's a little unrealistic, and it's like, really? What what, a, another what, thing what, what does this end. armor protect? The armor protects nothing. But then later on, the armor protects everything. Ah, okay. So, you know, the, the action wasn't there. And so I think it's an average film by the end. Uh, people are going gaga over this technology, and honestly, I don't really see it. I don't think the technology is there. It kind of was keeping me out of film. Well, and we certain, didn't see it. Uh, emotional moments in this film do not hit the way they're supposed to hit as i was describing the film and what it was trying to convey earlier it, it barely comes through but it could have came through more so five yeah. out of ten i shouldn't be chuckling at these uh fighting scenes well these emotional like, reveals too like people in the theater were giggling when there's yeah, like there's like, like haha we revealed something it's like this is just dumb like every yeah and and you know if you want to go for dumb action where the action is satisfying we actually recommend Angel Has Fallen. For Me sure. and Alex just went just for fun. We were bored one day. Joe, go see that because I think it's good. That one's like an eight. That's, That's like just turn dumb your, action. Yeah, very dumb action, but it's very satisfying. This didn't have Better that. gunfights, yeah. better action in that film. That's so this one, types of movies. Yeah. <laughs> even though it has Will Smith, it literally all those points are gained by Will Smith. Yeah. So, And uh, he can't carry the whole film by himself, unfortunately. Ooh. All right, that's our uh, opinion on uh, Gemini Man, and we will uh, talk a little bit in the, the spoiler section, so stick with this if you want to check out that. Mm -hmm. Until then, we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Welcome to the spoiler section for Gemini Man. We look exactly alike, oh, oh, other than him being a little younger than me. Yeah. So that's about how convincing the CGI is sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's better than that, but I don't think it's quite at that level yet. So um, it, it, well, here's the stuff, plot holes. Can I, can I change my score to a 0 out of 10? What? So no. He said, hey, you, you, were, you grew up in Philadelphia. And oh, yeah, he should have said, said born, and, born said and raised. Said no, we were all in the theater. We're I was like, all... born and raised, and Joe's nope. laughing. He didn't say it. I was like, didn't no, say it. So, the, it. so the younger uh, version of Will Smith uh, eventually joins forces, or obviously, you knew that was yeah, coming, exactly. against the bad guys. Uh, and as they're driving in the car, you know, older Will Smith is, t is telling him about his life and how he grew up. And he was like, you were born in Philadelphia, weren't you? And we was all like, eh. He's going to say it? He's gonna... He didn't no. say it. Westwood, uh, born yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh okay so and it, what, there's plot holes here in the sense that when they first meet each other they look at each other they're seeing each other i mean you're even damn near looking at him through an optical fucking scope and you're seeing detail on his face uh, but for whatever reason they don't recognize that they look similar they're like hmm that looked weird <laughs> and then the next time mm, that's odd it's like that's you you fucking idiot <laughs> and then finally they they reveal but it's like you would have known that that's dead on you yeah right? even the other the supporting actors are like that's you right you didn't notice anything weird no 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 it's weird it's like all right well I'm yeah gonna... he knew my every move so like besides that I don't know. He just, he's so good. He was a good looking Besides man. Besides that, the face. Is right. Like, okay. I, I would get it from the older Will Smith's perspective that maybe that's his son. And he's like, did, did I uh, have sexual relations? I don't, I don't know, even remember. I, I felt like did, he was saying he was a virgin. Hit it and he's quit like, it. Yeah, what are you, like 23? Still a virgin? <laughs> it's like, whoa, sick burn, Graham. Right. So, so I thought that maybe he, that could be viable. But from the younger perspective, how the younger guy just doesn't think that he looks like him. <laughs> You got a file. Like they, yeah. the, the whole thing is like you get a file on the person you're going to kill. They're like, There's this is the guy. Right and he's like, there. so, uh, d Dad, this kind of looks. Right. He doesn't notice <laughs> that. So there's a big plot hole. And then they kind of make a big deal about it in the film. It's like, come on. Are you an idiot? You know, that kind of stuff. Um, and then it's Mary Elizabeth. You know, she's 
been transferred several times, and then she's on duty to watch Will Smith. So she's obviously, and then Will Smith even kind of makes a a comment. Of, How does that make you feel that the you know that the bureau doesn't really take you serious, and they're just putting you on desk duty to watch me, right? Like but yet tired. she is the greatest fucking Asian fighter they've ever had. Not only is she a ten out of ten in hand to hand combat, where she's able to take a dude three times her size, probably. Ten times her training because these this is one of the assassins the where, where his only he, purpose is to assassin. Not the Gemini oh, guy, no, just a dude with a beard the, coming and, in yeah. who's all all gunned up. And she takes his ass out. Not only that, but but is really good in interrog forms of interrogation. She extracts she, his teeth. She extracts his teeth, beats his ass to get the information, and Will Smith comes in. Are you all right? Because he was taking care of the other three guys outside off screen while we were watching her do her thing. And she's like, it's this guy who's behind it. And he's like, what? How did you know that? And she drops his teeth in his hand. And it's like, God damn! <laughs> right? Yeah, and I like it. Teeth. I like it. It's cool. She's a great actress, and, and it's cool. But it goes a little too far with that throughout the rest of the film. She's just as good of a shot. At one point, they're cornered. They come out of a, a diner, this little sort of area in Georgia, and they're like, pop, pop, like one shot killing people while these trained motherfuckers who have a fucking station there daily and training. And decked out can't, in armor. And decked out in full body armor cannot land a single fucking hit on her except one hit. They're like, okay, so somebody in the script was like, ah, so, yeah. that makes our Gemini man look yeah. useless. Give her a little shot in the side or something where she falls down. But she cannot be weak and vulnerable. She cannot be a damsel in distress. So they do the combat pull. Oh, yeah, she, she's she still going people, off. Yeah. Right. But ultimately, I, it doesn't bother me. But it's just one of those extra things that you pile on here and by the end it's like there's so many damn things and it's like god damn this is and then another thing that threw me off same scene fucking gi joe snake eyes comes in all ninja like and right. starts looking terrible oh, CGI. Yeah. cgi wise so they they have yet another, another gemini one. man clone <laughs> Where this one has been hiding, why it hasn't factored into the story this, at all. Th it does. So the reason that Will Smith kills the very first guy is that guy had the breakthrough. And so now he can not only clone people, but he can edit their DNA. So they edited fear and pain. And he's like the brand new invention. Uh, right. But he shows up at the end. When oh, he could I have know, showed yeah, up tough. at any point to fucking kill Will Smith. Yeah. If he's edited well, out fear and all this stuff that could ruin uh, this younger Will Smith's version to kill the older Will Smith. Why didn't they send Snake Eyes Will Smith to kill him? Because they were training to go to Yemen. He was supposed to go over there, so he's training for that. And then he's like, all right, well, last minute. Because we wouldn't have had a movie. Here. Something that's way more important than just simply going combating and covert operations uh, in Yemen. That's what he said. I don't, right. Like I said, I was... He's like, great. Now somebody's going to have to take his place going to Yemen. And the bad guy makes his big old speech. It's like, isn't this great where I'm sending clones into battle instead of and we seen real, this before. Yeah. you know, U.S. soldiers? And it's just, the, oh, the eye-rolling bad guy speech. He mm -hmm. doesn't realize that he's sending real people whether they're clones or not they're human beings so you make this sort of argument again that we've seen in a thousand films but it the music swells and it's supposed to be played up like you're really invested and you're really interested yeah. and you have the emotional beats and the younger will smith is like how could you do this and he sees that it is even younger will smith i think the the snake eyes assassin is even a few years younger he's supposed to be maybe like 18 mm -hmm. or something because his face was a little cleaner and his lips a little different and so he gets so mad. He's like, I'm going to kill you. He's like, I'm your father. He's like, no, not anymore. I don't have a father. And you think, bam, he's going to shoot him right in the face. But old Will Smith says, you don't want that. You know, something inside you is going to break. And this is the good acting from Will Smith. Like, I fucking believed him. Even I was like, you know what? I wanted to kill him, but not anymore. Because, yeah, maybe something might <laughs> break in me. And then I'll start, bam! You know, Will, the old Will Smith did it. Because he already has them ghosts. Because yeah. he already got them ghosts when yeah. he goes to sleep. So he does it. And and in that, that was one of the only uh, scenes that connected for me emotionally. Is like, oh, he took that pain uh, so that the younger Will Smith wouldn't have to live with that pain. Um, even though the younger Will Smith is probably still going to be like, well, maybe I should have shot him instead of him. And then he feels for the older Will Smith. Anyway, so um, that's it. Uh, and then he's like, did you, you know, his handler, his ball guy, Dell, mm -hmm. uh, who is the handler of the older Will Smith assassin, 
and left him pretty much let him die yeah. over the phone. But he also did warn him. He has a conscious. He's at side plot with him. He's at school. His son is a piece of shit or something. <laughs> And he's like, he, it's Gemini, Project Gemini. You got to get out of there. And he, So at the end of the film, he comes back and he's like, gives him a soda instead of drinking. He's like, I don't want you to drink yourself to death. I would have let him. I'm Will Smith and I care about all that people. That scene was super- soda. And no, 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 no. It's not a soda. It's like the seventh time we've had a Coca-Cola ad placement <laughs> right, in there. Right. It's like zooms in and it's perfectly like sweating Coke. in there. It's Here, like, have a delicious have a, Coca-Cola. Yes, exactly. <laughs> We're in Georgia where Coke is from. And he's like. All right. I didn't see it like that. It is, it is, no, it is definitely a coke. No, I didn't see it like that. But anyway, so he's like, yeah, the program is shut down and gone and it's it's totally over with. There's no clone. But it's like, like this story is wrapping him, up though. too cleanly. It's all so stupid. Exactly. But it's not even played off like maybe there might be a possibility it's still there. No, Good. it's no. over. Everything's so and the government just it, shut young, it down. Like a baby Will Smith. Forget about me. <laughs> yeah. I kept thinking there'd be an after credit scene with another Will no, Smith it's, showing it's up. Good. We're done. Or that, you know, maybe Mary Elizabeth has a clone too, and they were out there field testing her to take out uh, as a backup some sort of Look, Manchurian candidate because there's no way she's stop that good making, at combat. Stop making this movie way better. You're making it sound way better. I know. You're giving it, it too much, much credit. I'm giving it the depth that it needed. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't have it. So uh, she's not. not She's not a clone. She's just, a, you know, the best fucking agent. Her scores would be 10 out yeah, of 10 in combat, 10 out of Will 10 Smith. in marksman, 10 out of 10. But yet... They put her in a desk job and like she's nobody. Bull fucking Because she's a woman. Because <laughs> they're all looking. I Yeah, maybe that's what they were trying to say. But anyways, uh, so, you know, ultimately not as much action as I was hoping for. And when the action does happen, you're a little distracted by the CGI-ness that they decided to do. It's a, yeah. it's a shame. Mm-hmm. And I know Ang Lee is a good director. And also kind of a bad one sometimes. Uh, he did Hulk. I mean, that was too mm-hmm. much. How, I mean, so this was also written by the guy who did X-Men Origins Wolverine. Yeah. If that explains so, something to, to you. Find so you cool. take the, the bad part of Ang Lee and then you bring the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Game of Thrones laziness of the last season. You mix that all together. <laughs> then you throw in Will Smith and you're like, man, I really liked Will Smith. But that's how it is. So, yep. All right, guys. That's going to be it. I can't think of anything else. Um, skip this one. See skip you. it. Yeah. Uh, you know, watch watch Face Off. You want to watch like something like this? <laughs> yes. Face Off. I want to it ha- it, that is better. Or watch Angel Has Fallen if you want something recent with action. And it's surprisingly good. Sorry we didn't review that. Eight out of ten. All right. If we review it now. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. Be sure to subscribe and ding our dong. And maybe check out some merch. Yeah. Bye.